So you're thinking of moving to Ponchatoula, Louisiana. Well, you've come to the right place because that's what we're talking about in today's video. We're in downtown Ponchatoula. It is so cute here. You can see this little store in the background and as we're going through, we'll kind of veer out to some of the other stuff in the area. But if you're looking for something that's not too far from the South Shore, but is still away from the hustle and bustle, Ponchatoula is a place for you. It's a nice, quaint little town. It's not too big, not too small. Downtown is as cute as it can be with really cool old buildings that are multi-story. There's lots of places to walk around and drink. Um, it's known for strawberries, so there's some strawberry farms around here with fantastic strawberries. And you'll see signs all around town that's like strawberry daiquiri, strawberry this, that, and the other. There's even a strawberry festival here that's really cool. And they even have rides and stuff for the kids, and they have live music. So it's a really neat area. There's also businesses, so if you're lucky enough to not even have to commute to the city and work in the city that you live, Ponchatoula would be another good opportunity for that. There's lots of local businesses, there's attorneys, there's of course retail that you could work at, there's some real estate offices that you could work at as well. Um, so there's a lot of small businesses, some really cool restaurants and everything, um, or some other good opportunities as far as working goes. Now if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. We're trying to help keep you educated on New Orleans and the surrounding areas. These days, everybody's buying things online, including real estate. So many people purchase homes sight unseen besides online. So my goal is what you can't see when you're looking at that house is the city and the surrounding areas and where can you eat and what kind of coffee can you buy? And that's the mission of this channel. So you're thinking of moving to Ponchatoula, Louisiana. It's about 50 minutes from New Orleans. And the cool thing about this location is that there's a multitude of ways to get to New Orleans. You've got I-55, which is connecting really close to here, I-12 connecting close to here, or you could take Highway 22, do the scenic route, and jump on the causeway, which is the 23 mile bridge to New Orleans. This town is, and I had to write this down because I, yeah, I knew I'd forget it, but the Native American term, term Tangibahoa, which is the parish that this city is in, means ear of corn or those who pick corn from the, and I'm gonna mess this up, I'm apologizing in advance, Akalapisa Indians. So if someone wants to comment on that, I'd love to know how to really say that. Um, but they used to inhabit the area. So it's a really small, friendly town with a nice down home feel really great residents here. I mean, everybody is so nice and friendly. It's super, super refreshing. And when we got here, I know that in the past, this little cage behind us, they've had um, different wildlife in there. And when we got here, there is a, an alligator, which does turn out to be fake, thank God, because we were like, that's so mean. Um, but the alligator in there looks insanely real, which kind of like blows your mind a little bit. Um, but it is a fake alligator. But the area where we are in downtown, like this is what the uh, Strawberry Festival, like this is where it's pretty much held. So all on these streets. And that Strawberry Festival has tons of little, um, oh, not the shops, but the tents, you know, where you can have like different retail and stuff that you can buy from. When it comes to this area, they have lots of delicious food and good restaurants to choose from. But I know if you're here, you're probably really interested also in the real estate. So when it comes to the real estate, here's some current market data on the real estate in Ponchatoula. The population is around 7,200 people. The median home value is 152,500. That is phenomenal, everybody, because most of the other areas around here and cities around here are 250 and up for the average home price. And these homes are cute and you actually have a yard. So those are really great benefits. The median income here is approximately 41,200, but a lot of people do commute to the city where you can earn more. Right now, the median listing home price is 240, which is a big difference from that 152. Right now, there are about 170 homes for sale in this area, as low as 100,000 and as high as 
$3 million. Um, the sales prices are trending upwards year after year as they are across the country. And there are a variety of homes here to choose from, which is really cool as well, not just cookie cutter. You've got older, more historic homes. You've got newly developed homes and new subdivisions. Um, and you've also got homes with just a little bit of land and then you've got homes where you can actually have a bunch of land. So you have a lot to choose from and a lot of flexibility here in Ponchatoula. We are at Mandy Maid's Fine Art Gallery. She's actually voted the top artist on the North Shore, North Shore's Best, top artist in Tangibahoa Parish. They had the Strawberry Festival a couple weeks ago and they had over 500,000 people come through. So there's a ton of beautiful stuff in here. A lot of it's been wiped out because a lot was purchased, which is amazing. We'll put our information in the description below so you've got it, but look how beautiful this is. So if you come to Ponchatoula, please be sure to check out her art gallery. Right here in downtown Ponchatoula is the information center where you'll need to be sure to stop in for even further information than what we've provided today in the video. You will not be disappointed. There's lots to do and it's a really fun town. And you can't come to Ponchatoula without purchasing some strawberries. Look at these absolutely beautiful strawberries that we're lucky enough to pick up today. This store here in Ponchatoula is so cute. It actually is not just one retail store. It consists of stuff from 27 different vendors, which is really, really neat. I figured this is a nice little place to film while I tell you a little bit more about Ponchatoula. The, the top places to eat here are the Tula Burger Company, the Pink Aguave, the Rue and Brew Seafood and Steakhouse, and Paul's Cafe. If you're looking for things to do, you have the Strawberry Festival that I've mentioned, there's also the Spring Fair. There's a Mystic Monthly Cruise, which is super cool. Um, there's Mother's Day on Maine. There's Ponchatoula High School Senior Parade for the Graduates. How cool to celebrate with the seniors. And then there's Citywide Yard Sale. Yes, you heard that right, a Citywide Yard Sale, which is also just another cool thing for this down home feeling area. Some of the other things that you can do are the Joyce Wildlife Management Area, where there's hunting and trapping of deer, rabbit, squirrel, there's boating and frogging and fishing, um, just so many different things. And the other thing I wanna cover before we finish today is I wanna talk about four different homes in four different price points that you can expect in the area as well. Now again, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And whether, excuse me, <coughs> whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, if you're looking to buy a house in the next nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you with your smooth move to New Orleans and the surrounding areas, including Ponchatoula. When it comes to those houses, our first house is a $245,000 house that was built in 2016, and we'll throw up some pictures for you as well. Um, it's 1689 square feet, which is 145 a square foot there are HOA dues of $25 a month. This house is located on Crestwood Lane in Ponchatoula. It's a great location with easy access to I-12 and I-55. It's nestled in a cul-de-sac. I have always loved dead ends and cul-de-sacs. Um, there's solid surface flooring throughout, tankless water heater. The kitchen has a gas range. I feel like that thing because I don't know how to cook on gas. I barely know how to cook on electric, but people love gas. Um, there's stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, and a large bar top for dining. So that sounds really nice. Our next house, number two, is on Cypress Reserve Boulevard. And this one's listed at 330 in comparison to the other one that was 245 prior. This is 2205 square feet built in 2020, so it's newer as well. It's also bigger. There's also HOA dues of, one, of $33 a month, not $133 a month. Um, this is at 150 a foot where the other one was 145 and this one has a spacious and charming two-story feel and it is two-story a large fenced yard and it's got a screened in back porch which is always a bonus as well and there's modern comforts of this beautiful neighborhood where you can scroll stroll through the neighborhood and there's a community cool 
pool and even a playground. So that sounds like a nice, definitely nice option. House number three is on Summer Lane in Ponchatoula, listed for 409,000, built in 2019, 2001 square feet. That's 204 square foot, so much higher the cost per square foot. There are HOA dues, those are only $30 a month. These HOA dues are so cheap around here, definitely, definitely underpriced. This spacious home is also located in a cul-de-sac, large living room with gas fireplace. We're seeing a gas theme here. Um, open concept, the kitchen has two different pantries, which is awesome. I would love to have two different pantries. Um, there's a double-sided privacy fence and many upgrades as well. And, that, and for this house, they're even willing to sell the furniture. So you've got definitely some options. And the last house is on River Oaks Drive in Ponchatoula. And that one is 645,000 square feet, built in 1992, 3,661 square feet for 176 a square foot. So the highest price per square foot on our list today. Um, it's actually one of the older ones on our list today as well. This store, this house is historically sought, oh my gosh, historically styled. That's the word I'm trying to say. Um, it's a solidly built home. It's a beautiful Victorian style home with a nice Victorian porch and it's shaded by oak trees, which is another great thing about here. You're gonna see a lot of trees in town, out of town, in the subdivisions, as a subdivision. Lots of beautiful trees for sure. Um, this actually has three dining areas. That's interesting, I have to check that out. Three dining areas, including a formal dining room. Walk-in attic is partially climate controlled and the home is well, well cared for. Cared for. Um, there is a large deck and there's also a pool. This is the only one we featured today that actually includes a pool. So that's a wrap for today here in Ponchatoula. Please be sure to drop a, drop a comment because I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you around town. Remember I told y'all this was fake? It is not fake, it is real. Why is this here? Why is he caged? This is not a happy place, it's so little. I cannot believe he's real, like we really thought he was fake.